Hey you guys, it's Megan. We are back again today with another video, but today or now is the promised Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. This came in the mail, I wanna say late Saturday night. I did not see it out front until yesterday morning. And at that point we were headed out the door to go to brunch. So I brought it inside, but I didn't get a chance to open it. Here we are. Let's open this up and see if there's anything good. It's not a very big box. For some reason, I thought it would be bigger. Um, and there's not even a weight on here. I kind of wanted to look at the weight and see if it was actually 40 pounds, but let me show it. Yeah, see, it's not as big as I thought, but it does seem to be packed pretty full. So let's open this up and see if there's anything good. Um, before we get started, I think I paid like $45 for this. There was a small promotional code they were running the other day, so it took off like $7. So including shipping, these are normally, I wanna say for the, is this 40 pounds? I don't even remember. I should have looked at that before I started this video. There's like a smaller box and a bigger box, and this is the bigger box. I think it's 40 pounds. Um, so I paid about $45, but it would normally be probably 52 or 53. Um, without any coupons or promotional codes. Hi, Annie. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Seller by the Shore. Hi, Denim and Thrift. So with that weight and assuming that there's should be, I would say, about 30 items in here, that would keep your cost of goods less than $2 an item. Um, but we'll see what we get. One time I ordered a... Um, a stitch fix box, which is kind of like a mystery clothing box, but it's all new stuff. And I was so disappointed in that. Um, so hopefully this is a lot better than that. It was a good price. I mean, I can't really complain if it's good or not. Um, let's see, we got a little invoice here. Hey Jordan, thanks for coming back. Um, oh, it does have the price on here, but I don't think I paid that. It just says $48. And I don't remember if that was before or after the discount. I want to say it was more like 45. Um, they did put some tissue on here. I guess that's nice of them. Let me see if I can pull this over a little more. So if they're gonna put tissue, it better be nice stuff, right? Um, oh God. This is not looking good already. These are some so shorts. This is like a super low end, like Walmart brand. I would never ever pick up something like this. It has a little belt on it. Um, this isn't something that I would resell. I mean, this wouldn't go for anything. I would say this is a listing that would be like three or $4 and then shipping would be like five or six. Um, this will definitely be donate pile. So I'll make two piles, we'll do one of, like junk stuff that I'll donate and then one of the stuff that I will keep. This is not looking good already. And just kind of looking in here, a lot of this stuff looks like older and really worn. Hi, all for Toddy. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Cheeks Clothing. Hi, Cakes um, SNC. Um, this is a pair of Levi's. Um, size 3232. This is men's. Yeah, it has a deep pocket. Yeah, this is a pair of men's jeans. They have, oh my God, these have like stains all over the pant leg. Um, so that I can't sell. Oh, this is not looking good, you guys. Um, this is like an old pair of American Eagle jeans. Yeah. It's like ripped right here on the back. They're a size four short. The hems are also really worn and the denim on these is just really faded. These are not in condition that I could sell. Oh, and it's missing all of the buttons for the fly. So there's no button at all. Okay, we are three items in and this is trash so far. Okay, Marie says, I wouldn't pick this up. F size five, six regular, that's a small size, not good. Um, they're pretty faded. The crotch is also faded and pilling. 
The hems are okay. Um, I would not sell these either. Uh, these are maternity pants. I don't do good with anything maternity. These are by Indigo Blue. They're a 1X. The crotch is faded and pilling. And I've never heard of this brand. It doesn't look good. Um, this is a questionable item. I may or may not try to sell this. We'll put that in the yes pile for now just because there's nothing so far that I would pick up. Hi, Diventory. I would have a hard time not showing ultimate disappointment and tears on camera. I'd have to open it beforehand and then the video. Well, all the fun of this is you guys getting my reaction, actually opening this in person so you can see everything firsthand. I know that a lot of people that have done the thread up unboxing videos on YouTube have been, they've been like sponsored videos where they either got a big discount on the, on the box or thread up sent it to them for free to do a review. So me personally, I feel like ThreadUp would be inclined to send better items just because they obviously don't want you opening up garbage on camera and then saying, don't buy this ThreadUp rescue box because it's all junk. Um, but so far, this is, this is really bad stuff. This is junk that um, I would just skip over in a thrift store. And I kind of felt like this would be better stuff because... Obviously, when people send items into ThreadUp, ThreadUp tells you beforehand that, you know, these are the brands we're looking for. We're looking for things in good condition, good quality. Um, so I was expecting these to be like nicer items that maybe just had like, a, you know, a little bit of fading, a small flaw, um, but otherwise would be something nice that someone thought ThreadUp wanted. But what I'm seeing so far is just like complete junk um, that I don't even know why someone would send that into ThreadUp because if... If ThreadUp doesn't buy like most of your stuff, they like make you pay for the shipping label that you use to send it in, I think. Cause I know they send you like a shipping kit and it includes a label. And if they don't take all your stuff, they like deduct the price of that label from your items. Um, let's keep going. Megan, I've been contemplating buying one of these boxes. So thank you for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. And this is terrible. This is a really junky pair of low end Forever 21 jeans. These are super faded. Um, they're a size 27. They're really faded. This is just like bottom of the barrel junk that I think even thrift stores have a hard time selling. Um, this is a pair of American Eagle skinny jeans. These are a really small size though. This is a zero short. I do not pick these up for a dollar at the thrift store when they're this small. Um, it's just too tiny of a size. Oh, and look, the back belt loop is ripped off, so there's a hole. So I will not be selling these because they're too small of a size and they have the ripped belt loop, which has made a hole in the item. Um, okay, well, this is better. This is a pair of seven for all mankind. It is the Guinevere, which I do like, but I'm assuming there's going to be something wrong with these because so far everything else has been terrible. Um, size 25, so they are really small. There's a little bit of stretching on the front. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right here, there's like a little bit of stretching, which is common on fabric that has a lot of like elastane or spandex in it. Um, but this is a good item in general. I would, I would list something like this for probably $38 and then take a best offer. Um, these look good. And I really thought that this is what would be, like this is what would, the box would contain, would be more things like this that maybe had like just a little flaw. Um, but. okay, so we have one, this is a great item so far. So one item out of, out of this box. Um, this is a pair of Old Navy Rockstar. I do like the Rockstar jean, but these are very small. It looks like someone cut off the hems. These don't look like a nice frayed hem. It looks like someone just cut it. And the back is like really worn on this seam. So these are not in good condition. This will also be going in the discard pile. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this is better. Um, this is my St. John Sport. That's actually a really good label, but the Sport doesn't do as well as regular St. John. The tag is kind of stained up. Um, this is nice though. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, the zipper works. Hmm. This is a nice item. I would pick this up in the store on its own. I would probably pay five or six dollars for this. I think because it's not the regular St. John label, it's Sport, which does not sell for as much. This would probably sell for like $35, $40. So that's a good item. We'll put that in our yes pile. I kind of feel like they send you a box of complete junk and then they throw in like two or three really good items just to keep you interested. Hey Gucci, thank you for coming back in. OxyClean spray will take the stains out of the tag. Okay, I'll try that. I don't even have any OxyClean, but I'll have to get some. Um, but the tag just looks like yellowed and kind of gross. This is a pair of men's jeans. These are Antoinette Benton original boot. Oh no, they're these are Aeropostal. I just can't read the label. Aeropostal, they're men's. Um, they are pretty faded. The hems are a little worn. Oh, and the back is like about to rip through right here. Um, I don't think I would sell these. Aeropostal is a no-go for me. All right. Um, this is Wit and Wisdom. I do like this brand, but I can already tell that I'm not going to be selling it because look how badly these are stretched in the front. It's like, they're black so you can't tell, but the crotch is like super worn and all stretched out. If these were in good condition, I would sell these, but they're not. Forever 21, I don't sell this brand. Um, yeah, and they're just not, not in good condition either. Okay, this is good. These are rag and bone, but I'm looking for flaws because there's obviously a reason they discarded it. So rag and bone size 27. These are white. So if I if there are like um, stains, I can bleach them. They do have a nice zipper ankle. I wonder why they didn't keep these. This is a nice item. This is something that I would probably list for maybe like $46 and then I would take a best offer on it. So that's a good one. These are really wore out. Glamorous, I've never heard of this, but it sounds like a low end, like just junky brand that might be sold in the mall. And they're just like really worn out. So that's a discard. Um, here's another Wit and Wisdom, size 16W. Um, there is a couple little like puckers on the fabric. Not too bad though. This is something that I would sell. Let's see if the zipper works. No, don't pull them out, okay? This, yeah. this is a surprise. Yeah. With the condition of these, I'd probably list these for like 32 and then take a best offer. <sighs> Hi, Colleen, thank you for coming in. Next item. I don't even know what brand this is. 
the brand is like R13. I've never heard of this and they're the boy skinny. Considering how poorly this label is sewn in on the inside, this does not look good. But they say made in Italy. Has anyone heard of this? R13? Because it says made in Italy, I'll put it in the in the yes pile for now until I can look it up. Hmm. No holes or anything, so we'll leave this in the yes pile, but I don't know anything about it. <coughs> hey, buddy. Blue Spice, this is just a low-end garbage brand. This will go in the junk pile. Um, these look like men's jeans, rude. I've never heard of this, but it does not sound <laughs> promising. What's wrong, bud? Yeah. Hey, you gotta take your toy. Um, they're a size 34 skinny. I may try to sell these. They are in good condition, but they do seem like a low-end brand. Hope you are putting this on YouTube. Hubby is home. Got to go to Costco. Yeah, I'll um, I'll put this on YouTube afterwards. Hopefully, it's not a complete fail. Root is low end, really. Where is it from? It's men's, and I know men's do a little bit better than women's items, but still. Um, this is Encore. This is a low end junk brand. These look like they're in good condition, but. This is too low end for me. Um, these are Gus. The inside tag though is ripped. They are the Power Curvy Mid, size 29. Um, I wouldn't pick these up out in the wild but they're in okay condition. I guess I'll try to sell these. I mean, and part of this is I need to make my money back on this box, but if I was out shopping, I wouldn't pick up something like that. These are by Sonoma and the belt loop is ripped. The belt loop is ripped off. Yeah. They're size like 16 skinny yeah. and that's nice. Um, I might try to sell these. I do pick up this brand in larger sizes. This is sold at Kohl's and the rip belt loop, there's no hole created by it. It's just ripped off from the top. So that's okay. But if I saw that out in the store, I wouldn't get it. Another pair of Forever 21 shorts. Uh, yeah. Not keeping that. Uh, yeah. That's my water. Yeah. Um, these are American Eagle. These are men's. They're size 3330. Typically don't pick up men's, but we'll go ahead and we'll sell those. Only a couple items left in here. Um, these are J brand, which I do like, but these have a lot of stretching on the front right here. They're just all stretched out. That's a shame. So those are a no. Um, here's another pair of American Eagle. These are men's. They're a size 3330 again. So they're probably from the same person. Oh, careful, bud. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll keep those and sell them. Yeah. And here's a pair of Old Navy Diva. They're a size two. Um, what's wrong, bud? These are okay. But I normally don't pick up Old Navy in these smaller sizes. I don't see anything wrong with them though, so we'll keep these. Um, these are Earl jeans. I do like this brand. They're a size 14. 
Careful, buddy. Don't knock over the camera. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at this. They've got these like pearls all over them. That's gorgeous. Let's look for flaws. These look pretty nice to me. I would pick these up out in the thrift store. I would probably list these for like $34 and then take a best offer. Here's a pair of Hollister. I don't pick up Hollister and these are pretty stretched around the crotch. So we're gonna put those in the trash pile. Last item. Um, Shay Ann. I've never heard of this. As S H Y A N N E. They're a size 29 short. They have some nice um, button flat pockets on the back. The hems don't have much wear on them. I don't know anything about this brand. I've never heard of it, but we'll keep these because they are in decent shape. I do like the back pockets and they're a size 29. So let's count how many items we're going to keep. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And if we assume an average profit of $10 on each one, um, like that St. John sport jacket will most likely profit me a little bit more. Same thing with the seven for all mankind jeans, but some of the lower items will profit less. So that would be potentially a profit of $140. But I did spend $45 on this box. So after that, that's a less than $100 profit. That's not very good for me. And considering how many items are going to have to be donated, that's a lot of waste. And that means I have to take additional trips to donate these items um, to get rid of them. Let's count up how many are junk real fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So over half is complete trash that I would donate. Um, not impressed. And I was actually thinking about they have like a bulk buying program where you can buy pallets of stuff, but after seeing what's in this, imagine a pallet that might have, you know, several hundred items and then having 50% of that to be waste that would need to be thrown away. That is ridiculous. That is way too much waste. And if you're paying a couple dollars for each item and half of it's waste, that doubles the price of the items that you are keeping. Um, this was pretty disappointing. Even those good items were just kind of okay. They're normal things I pick up at the thrift store. I think I would much rather go out in the thrift store and be able to hand pick what I take home and leave what I don't want instead of being stuck in my house with a bunch of garbage that now I have to go take and donate to the thrift store. Um, not impressed at all. Pretty, pretty crappy to say the least. But I'm gonna get off here. I do have to do a couple more listings before I go pick up my other son from school. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate your support and thank you for watching while I open up this surprise box from ThreadUp. Altogether, I would probably not buy this again unless they had like a really good promotional deal going on where I could keep the cost of goods down.